This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to a new episode of FFPÖ. My name is Paul and this is the 68th episode of FFPÖ, recorded on the 25th of January 2018. And he is here for the first time. It's a new year and we have some new fresh faces. Well, kind of new and only kind of fresh faces here in the studio. It is... My name is David. David Stockenreitner in German, actually. I'm a comedian. I have my own solo show in German called Stuhl Bitte, which yep. is translated into English as Stuhl, please. It chair. has nothing to... Yeah, chair. Yeah, a stool yeah, is but, something different but, but, there. Yeah, I know, but, but stool, you can also sit on it, you know? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah you can sit on some shit. <laughs> 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 and it has nothing to do with feces. I'm just too I'm lazy to stand there for an hour. I mean, we 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 stood on some prime A shit for one and a half hours or two hours because we had to rewind and stop so many times. <laughs> yeah. It is... We watched... Season of the Witch, the 20 th 10, 2010 disaster movie. In 2011th, I think. An unintentional yeah. disaster movie in this case. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, most messes are unintentional. <laughs> If it's intentional, it's trash, and that's kind of cool. Yeah, but this is a coordinated and planned out car crash in the end. You know, this movie. Yeah. It is. It is we we it it's it stars two great Oscar worthy or even Oscar winning actors in Nicolas Cage's case he actually has an Oscar. For what? Do you, do I you have know? no idea anymore. I, I have really no idea for what he got <laughs> an Oscar. But goddamn if he he wasn't he wasn't a good actor sometimes. But in this time he <laughs> he only Nicolas Cage once in this whole movie. Yeah. He, he <laughs> all right let, let's 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 no, go to but but yeah. the thing about Nicolas cage is i always thought he is a bad actor <laughs> but then again i thought he has so much experience that i just got to think maybe he wants to act that way maybe that's just <laughs> his style let, let him be that oh okay oh yeah he he i i remember now uh <laughs> from where he I uh, got the Oscar and it was Leaving Las Vegas. I haven't yeah. seen that movie. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, uh, and then we have Ron Perlman being also... Th uh, those two dudes play essentially Austrians, which is the funniest <laughs> shit ever if you yeah. think about it. Yeah. And this is the connection to FFÖ in the, essentially because yeah. no matter... Who, who you pick out, the most personalities are the mountains and the woods. Like, <laughs> And the other ones are just American. Yeah, all, just all British people. Every time I saw Ron Perlman on screen, I thought he needs the cigar. He needs yes, to have a cigar. Yes, yes, yes. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm just doing this in between movies right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to afford a new kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why I'm doing this movie. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. Let's let's move on. I I think to to the first segment, and that's plot. So we start off in your hometown. It's like an origin movie of you. <laughs> yeah, that's where Villa Fashing comes from. Yeah, for, from the witch burnings. Well, in this case, not even burnings. They were too cheap to get crosses <laughs> they out. Were, yeah, <laughs> they couldn't afford fire. Yeah, yeah. They just that the, the special effects budget was <laughs> already tapped out at the beginning of the movie <laughs> because all <laughs> what they did was execute three alleged witches. Witches. W one of them was a real witch. Yes, so but we will the, well, you know, find the, that out three minutes later. I mean, if anything, the the cruc uh, the the Inquisition played a numbers game by killing witches you know <laughs> they were like there will be some real witches among those people that we will inquisit you know yeah so <laughs> they're just playing the numbers game here and and it worked out in this case by, by hitting onto and she apparently puts a curse onto but it 
takes 400 years to take effect. Yeah. Because why? Curses are working slowly. Give them some time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like cancer. It's slowly. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, the, the, um, curses were the cancer of the Middle Ages. Yeah, and also we see uh, the Hound. I don't even know the from actor's Game name. Of Thrones. Yeah, I don't know either. For five seconds, he never shows up again. No. Yeah. Why is he in this movie? Because he, I think back then he was he starving he, for work. He wasn't the Hound. He just needed work. Yeah. I guess so. so you gotta you gotta start some somewhere. Yeah. Maybe even a Nicolas Cage movie it's that plays in Austria. Yeah. Be, being an artist is a shitty business. Yeah. You had to star in some Austrian projects, or are I you not mobile enough? <laughs> <laughs> the audience doesn't that, know that. Yeah. That's, that, that that's a setup that has yet to be made. I know. I know. I'm I'm, 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 I'm just illustrating how shitty this movie is. Yeah. By, by, by pulling ahead yeah, maybe maybe I could do an extra in this movie I would be mobile enough <laughs> I could do an extra there oh my god <laughs> god this movie yeah so so um, and then we switch to two crusaders crusading bravely during the crusades and and and, and we have like a, a fighting montage right out of Oh, I saw 300 once, and uh, let's repeat that five times. Yeah. Uh, Why uh, is that let, there? Let, let, let's get back to that a little bit, because yeah. there is the, the, first mon the first thing is a battle somewhere in the desert. Yes. So the Crusaders against some other guys in I don't know where. Yeah, yeah, it's like the... <laughs> and then there is an over... I, I don't know the English term for that shot, like... In German, it's Vogelperspektive. Is, yeah. is it an overhead shot? Yeah, basically. Okay. Yeah, they have an overhead shot where the two armies crash into each other, <laughs> or are about to crash into each other in oh, slow yeah. motion. Yes, and you, like, as as a viewer, you think oh, that that, oh, that, that, that could that, be interesting. The that, that could be cool. Yes, and then. Still in the overhead shot, they are about to crash like a few centimeters from each other. And then the fucking filmmakers cut to the other army running another three seconds <laughs> yeah. into the army. It, oh, it, it was so it, it, jarring. It interrupts the action. Oh, so it's badly. Bad yes. It's a bad cut. And, and then they were like, ooh, let's repeat basically the same scene, but once at night once in the snow and once in another yeah. uh, like another sand thingy yeah, or something uh, with I, I different don't... with different costumes so yeah so you know they're they, they different, know uh, they, they bad know guys. it's different battles yeah and b because maybe if you like this movie you can't read the subtitles yeah oh my god and they, and all along this 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 battle journey is this annoying ass priest who's yelling Basically, I don't know, some some Christian garbled yeah, mess. And, and they always say, like, for God and his only son, Jesus Christ. They always repeat that only. Yeah. Because yeah. it's very important that Jesus is the only son of God. Yeah, that, man. That there was no other son of God called Jim, but he didn't like him that much. So I mean, he's just, the, he's I just mean, an orphan. Let's Again, if there's a numbers thing here... The, the 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 amount of uh, kids that would just regularly die during childbirth and stuff like that yeah. back then <laughs> Jesus like the, had a twin brother yeah basically he was yeah. still born yeah exactly poor Jimmy 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 <laughs> from Nazareth yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> in nomine padres et fili et spiritus <laughs> <laughs> because there were two of them yeah yeah yes you actually can pro say latin names except this movie can't no yeah it, it, they, they they do uh, there's a guy who sounds legit italian yeah well he he, he speaks latin but he sounds so italian <laughs> yeah he's like i'm, I'm like, training for my mario role <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> In nomine padre. Yeah, I played. I played, a, I played a gangster on an Italian <laughs> copper show for like a five seasons. Yeah, uh, we exaggerating, but not a lot because this movie is over the top and boring at the same time. 
it's, it's very interesting. Like they, they introduced what twenty wolves. I'm jumping ahead here. I don't care about the plot. Like, yeah, like okay. I legit don't care. This movie doesn't care. It has what two, three, four flashbacks to a scene that we saw at the beginning of the movie. And the director is two like two directors actually. Yeah, yeah. The two <laughs> they had to reshoot it. I don't know how much, but I guess of a what? Lot. Yeah. I, I would have loved to see the original. <laughs> I think the the original might have been pretty good. The master cut. Yeah, it's the rough cut. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and the director seems like he knows certain conventions of film. He knows certain terms of film language. Yeah, and he knows that other directors are using them. But he has no idea when to use them. He's the ditto, the Pokemon of the of directors. He's just copying them and then he has their moveset and then he can use them, but not as strong. So where were we? I have no idea. Yeah, like the movie did. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, we had we had th those flashbacks, which were totally ridiculous. It was and. Like Basically, you have to know, Nicolas Cage plays a knight who was in many wars or at least many battles. Yeah, and one crusade. I think he only yeah, made one crusade. But yeah, he, he made one crusade, but included many battles. It's like, yeah. a, it's like the Vier Berge Lauf. <laughs> 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 That's an Austrian insider. That yeah, everybody a Corinthian else insider, Yeah, actually. that everybody will... Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> Sorry, I just didn't find any other comparison for that. Yeah, it just uh, he kind of gets <laughs> Vietnam flashbacks. Yes, yes, he gets PTSD or PTCD, post traumatic uh, uh, crusade uh, disorder. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, syndrome. yes, but because because what what happens? He stabs one woman, and that's what all the flashbacks yeah. are about. Not that about the hundreds and hundreds of men that, that he has slaughtered. No, that, that's the that, that's the funniest thing. Like he is yes. he is a crusader with all his heart. And he fights in the movie. He fights four battles, yes. which are all conveniently montaged together. <laughs> and he kills only men. They look and like they were shot on the same set, yeah. and they just use different lighting. Yeah. And it then he accidentally kills one woman, and he sees that there are several other women already are dead and children. Yeah. And then he quits. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's like that's like having a job that you like. And you're doing it pretty fine for 20 years and then you quit because of one bad day. Yeah, exactly. Why Why did Ron Perlman quit, by the way? Because he likes Nicolas Cage and Nicolas Cage quit. Uh, it's yeah, basically but, a buddy but, movie. Yeah, it's a buddy cop <laughs> movie, but they are Austrian crusaders. Why? Why? It, uh, uh, it's, it's, so, it's, uh, it's so much fun. So they, they go back to, to Austria, to the coast of through the coast of Styria which <laughs> yeah, still cracks which, me up which doesn't exist yes but uh, it's just in Styria Google it, guys Google, there's Google just Styria. Uh, wine mountains and wineries yeah. nowadays but in this movie for some reason we have a it coast. has a coast yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and a pretty rough rough uh, a rough one at yeah that. again they shot it in Corinthia apparently just because they were like yeah this is cheap and why how much how much do you think was actually shot in Corinthia? Because, because I don't know because at that time I was still living in Corinthia and I read nothing about it in the newspapers. <laughs> and you <laughs> they should have read something about it in the newspapers. I actually read Nick about it in the Austrian newspaper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, it, well, Austria does play a bigger part. Like the mountainous regions are clearly shot in Austria. Yeah. Like all those panoramic shots, they were like, all right, what we, do we have? Oh fuck, we can't. All right, let's let's just use another establishing shot in the middle of we already know where we are. Ristan. Yeah, yeah. The Fa my favorite country, by the way. <laughs> by the way, <laughs> thank you very much. It's it's not my. No, I haven't contributed anything to Corinthia, but still, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> they come back to I don't know Villach, I guess. It starts in Villach where the witches are drowned and. Yes. Getting tea bagged into the water, like they get dipped into the water, like tea bags. After they already crack their necks, yeah, like yeah. this is uh, this is overkill at this yeah. point. Yeah, literal but, overkill. But just to be sure, you know. Oh yeah, like like yeah. 
like a I double tap. I want to be really sure. That's, yes. that's like a, the medieval double tap. Yeah. Like instead of shooting them in the face twice, they're like, yeah. let's just, you know, yeah. go for it's, once it's more. It's like somebody with a personality disorder switching the light switch four times just to make sure. <laughs> oh wait, are you are you comparing <laughs> obsessive compulsive disorder <laughs> with? with murder i probably shouldn't but i do yeah <laughs> i just did i mean in I the case of austrians i can see it and especially for people in Villach, yes i think that was <laughs> yeah, their kind of that. ocd was just we do like that. let's kill them twice just yeah. to make sure yeah it's like if i can't drink anymore and i can't w walk anymore and i'm puking what do i do i drink another beer just to make sure <laughs> So All right. Till the last brain cells are gone. Ah, okay. Yeah. Just to, so, so you clearly know that you did it to yourself. Yeah. Ah, okay. That nobody else is to blame. Yeah. Yeah. It's ah, just yeah. my fault. And I just want to be absolutely sure that it's my fault. And then I still blame other people for that. But <laughs> deep inside, it's just for me. Ah. Deep inside, I know that I did that to myself. I think this, this should be the Austrian slogan. This is on the inside. This is just for me. Yeah, you know. <laughs> and by the way, like we are, I am mixing beer and whiskey here. Yeah. By now. Yeah, it's very smart move, man. I it's don't know. <laughs> I've never tried it. <laughs> um. So yeah. Um. So they they come to whatever village, town. It has a fucking castle on top of it, so it can't be a normal village, I guess. Yeah. Whatever. They they arrive and a lot there. of crows. Yes, and, and then Saruman shows up basically. Yeah, but only only you knew. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't believe it because yeah. he was full of the plague. Yeah, no, the the makeup is on point. Like the the black <laughs> the black plague makeup guy. They he did his job really well. Like yeah, he yeah. he had to put that shit on like what sixty different people throughout yeah. the movie, like yeah. on a shit ton of dogs then on some wolves like he had to put that shit on everything yeah like, th and i think especially this is where on the most dog. of the budget went was into especially, the flakes especially makeup. on the dog yeah like how hard must that be <laughs> be still yeah be still you First, have to give him tons of food to eat so the casting call for the dog must have been funny as hell yeah. just looking for a dog uh, uh, a wolf-like demeanor but uh, uh, can withstand four hour makeup sessions. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, and know that he can't lick it off, by yeah. the way. I uh, know it's a bit off topic, but. Uh, what yes, I, please. W what, what uh, this I podcast is totally known for being straight ahead <laughs> and on point all the time. <laughs> but uh, w w what I. What I ask myself is, as a casting director, for example, for a movie, yeah. how do you cast ugly people? <laughs> How do you do that? Distinctive uh, demeanor. We are looking for ugly people and some Distinctive. people. Distinctive. Yeah, and some Unique. people. Unique. <laughs> and some people read this newspaper or this internet advertising and think, yeah, I always Out consider of the myself ordinary. ugly. I've given you five synonyms now. <laughs> That's good. I've I haven't listened to any of them. <laughs> But no, out God of damn it! I've invited Austrian Reggie here. <laughs> that's an I'm, I'm not Reggie. The, yeah. the, the, that's not an insider. That's uh, just common knowledge at this point. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I'm, I I don't want to be Reggie. Reggie <laughs> is Reggie. We have a Reggie. Yeah, I think w uh, the scene can only have one Reggie. Uh, I'm sorry. By the way, filming this <laughs> the first sorry. time on the CD chair, very uncomfortable. This was this was a mistake. <laughs> I guess it's therapeutic or something. Uh, at least I'm not roasting you. Oh please. No. No. I don't want to roast you. No. I don't have nothing against you. Yeah. I could. No. You're a good guy, except for <laughs> the puns. But for the puns, I wouldn't roast you. I There's would so much you. pity I in your eyes. It's so fucking except funny. Except for the puns. Like sometimes I like the puns. Yeah. But sometimes I hate them so much that I want to punch you in the face. Yeah, fair Till enough. my ankles are. Yeah, you you threatened with your good are, hand. Are yeah. bleeding. Like that yeah. was that no, was. That's the only thing I can threaten with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I could punch you with my bad hand, but please 
hold your face <laughs> against up it, here yeah. and then take the hand I and mean, punch yourself. I mean, you could get a head start by running into the face with the yeah, hand yeah, lifted yeah. up. He ran into my like face. Like a ram. Yeah. R- ram I didn't ram. punch him. He ran into my face. Yeah. Six times. F- officer. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. He kept running into it. I don't yeah. know what that was. What, 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 why, why is he hitting himself? Yeah. <laughs> like the assassin's version of a bully. Stop yeah. shooting. Stop. Keep shooting yourself. Stop. Keep shooting yourself. <laughs> and now give me your money. If John Wick was a real <laughs> asshole, he's <laughs> like, stop dying. Stop dying. <laughs> stop twisting your own neck until it cracks. <laughs> Why do you kill yourself? Huh? Yeah. Huh? 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 Does this knife belong to you? Does yeah. this knife belong to you? Does uh, this knife belong to you? Uh, grab it. Grab it. No. <laughs> this oh. podcast is really fun. Yeah, thank you, man. No, this movie is garbage, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> if you didn't pick up on that yet. And so are we. Yeah. <laughs> Just admit it, we're garbage. Yeah, but... Uh, we we I, both had puns to this movie. Yes, yes. And yes. I... And, and I to, up to this movie, I... I didn't know that I was able to do puns. Yeah, we had the Ron Perlman (laughs) grill. Yeah, and now I know that I'm a piece of garbage. (laughs) Don't watch my show. Oh yeah, it's not good. Uh, So so they (laughs) so 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 Saruman basically to go back to the plot. Saruman basically says, "Hey guys, how about uh, your disorders?" And why does he know? By the way. They traveled as quickly as information can travel at this point. They are the fastest there. How does he already know? Is there like an express uh, pigeon system that informs obscure uh, 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 leaders of a certain village? Why the why WhatsApp? The, fuck? the <laughs> it's 2010. Yeah. yeah, was WhatsApp already a thing? Yeah. 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 What's up? You, eight you years were just old? an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> that's why the movie was so bad. Because oh. you're an idiot. Oh, that's why I'm spiky on the back. Because I'm leaning against my cactus. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. Rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting on a cactus. <laughs> I have to timestamp this. This is going into the best of. <laughs> Paul leans against the cactus and doesn't know this. <laughs> Why do you have a cactus? Uh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stylistic choice. It looks good. Apparently, it doesn't feel good, but yeah. Uh, at one point, I wanted to make a new show where where I have two cutouts of ex Chancellor Khan. Uh, next to each other and would have called it between two cans. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Pretty good rip off show, right? <laughs> huh? <laughs> We're garbage. <laughs> I'm leaving this whole bit in. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> what? That I'm an actual Between comedian? Two kerns. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> you are welcome. Um, Thank you. Thank you, master. <laughs> Teach me. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, oh, this movie. See how, how often it distracts us from the actual plot by being so garbage that we have to <laughs> yeah. be like, oh, we have to talk about something else. Other everything everything we talk about there is better than the movie. Oh, true. Yes. Literally. Well, yeah. not literally and, anything. And, but and the worst thing things. about it is that they didn't allow Nicolas Cage to be Nicolas Cage. Oh, again. Once. 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 But that's, that, that's not enough. Yeah. That's like like uh, he was abused basically, and he couldn't break out all of his shell. Yeah, yeah. Like this, this script basically broke him down because he got to scream and yell at the action scenes at the beginning, yeah. and then once uh, ha- had an emotional breakout with the witch, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Shortly. Yeah. Who, who is also who is also Queen Elizabeth? Oh, by the way, there's a witch in the, in the and marvelous. The, yeah. FYI, she's not a witch. There, there is a young witch, and apparently she's possessed by a demon. 
And Again, I don't think she's actually a witch. I think it was just yeah, a okay. demon inside yeah, her. Yeah, and yeah, they okay. fought her. She was a, it was a classic case. It's, it's like Dr. House, where they have a misdiagnosis for like 90% of the movie. And then at the end of the, the movie, they're like, oh, it was totally it was something different. Yeah, yeah, but but then again, it wasn't lupus. But but then again, it's in the Middle Ages. Like, yeah, every woman who knows something about anything is a witch. Yeah, there. diagnosis witch. <laughs> yeah, Just I would like to see a a a, 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 a medical drama set in the 1300s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be a woman a woman who can put one and one together. Yeah. Witch. Yeah. <laughs> The cases are only 30, sec- 30 seconds long, yeah. but since since they have to play out the travel time, actually back then it took them like it's a solid forty five minutes. Yeah, but this solving the case only takes like three minutes. Yeah, yeah. But oh, I uh, mean oh the witch or the woman with the, yeah. the young, pretty attractive woman with the demon inside of her. Again, the makeup it's guy on point on yeah. making her as ugly as possible. Yeah, they were like, and but she, they she, didn't she was she was succeed. played by Claire Foy, who is um, playing Queen Elizabeth in the the Crown. I think really good series, yeah. The Crown. Yeah, at least the the first episode with Winston <laughs> Churchill. Yeah, I, I watched three this, episodes. I think th- this guy like, in the first. In in the first season, Winston Churchill, I don't know John Lithgow. Act, yeah, yeah, he's he great. Plays such a good Winston Churchill. Yes, yes. And it's Winston Churchill after the Second World War, so it's sometimes kind of boring, but he always plays it very well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, again, there's not you know you have to fight on the beaches and everything. You yeah. already it's like Frodo after throwing the ring into the mountain. You you've done yeah. your job. Yeah, yeah, you've done your job, but you still have to do your job, kind of, and you don't yeah. know what <laughs> your job is. Back to normal is. life, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fighting <laughs> off crowds, great at it. Yeah. Being a politician, still great at it, yeah. but in a different kind of way. <laughs> yeah. And he won the Literature Nobel Prize. For for fuck's sake i mean <laughs> nice yeah yeah i still don't did know he get f- the peace prize nah <laughs> obama did but not for literature no ha, but suck for, it but that's for, that's in the ranking but for being the first black president because he got the yeah the nobel peace prize before doing anything yeah that's i mean that's an achievement in itself it took yeah like what 130 70 30 130 years <laughs> yeah yeah for them to get there basically yeah so you know that's a that's that's something yeah in, an achievement in itself i i get why you're sour why some people are sour with that no but but he didn't do anything but but for the black president it, again matter, it was less for him but for what he stood at the time yeah yeah okay that that's probably true yeah but for the um again the the Nobel peace prize never gives it to and the next prize is to humanity. And then a, 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 a blob basically as, uh, accepts it. That, yeah. that doesn't, that doesn't yeah. happen. You have to put yeah. it on. Again, ideologies and, 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 and certain drives. Oh God, this is not the, this is not the a political Pod- yeah. discussion podcast. This is the movie podcast. <laughs> Back to regular schedule and... <laughs> Okay, let's go quickly, really quickly through the plot. Like, let, let's cut to the chase here. I think you made more notes than I did. Okay, but. all right. Okay, so so what, I, what I've written down here, like, you get it with verbatim here. Black Witch, Saruman, okay, we've been there. Skip, skip. Oh, whipped Witch, uh, Mandatory Comic Relief, uh, Foreigner Hate, uh, Nailed Him, uh, oh yeah, he gets yeah. nailed with the cross to yeah. the to the to the, yeah. to the thing. That was pretty funny. One of the guys, like the witch, takes a cross, yeah, and drives it through his hands. 
into so, into the carriage yeah th- to that, nail him with the cross ha 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 that's ironic. a pretty that's a pretty nice metaphor i think <laughs> I, I i like it no in I the like in the garbage pool that is around it yes this is actually something that stands out at yeah, uh, being yeah, clever yeah. in sorts because yeah. they put a, a, a smidgen of thought into it then stew pool where we had the dogs and the corpses laying into in that in that wheelch puddle yeah. Where, where then the, the young altar boy that can fight for some reason stabs one of the guys who has a, a hard on for his, his for his daughter no he just misses her yeah that's a he that's a that's a family hard on yeah. why doesn't he think about his wife i don't know because <laughs> maybe <laughs> the wife's still maybe, alive m- maybe, and he just doesn't yeah, give a fuck I, I don't know maybe his wife wasn't all that great you know <laughs> His daughter was cool. He had an abusive wife. It's like with Trump. Uh, okay. If I wasn't her daddy, I would totally date her. <laughs> I think yeah. Trump now fucks the shit out of his daughter because then he's not only her daddy because the new, <laughs> and because also the new president. He's not well. Yeah. That's a that gray makes, area. Yeah, I guess that makes him kind he of can, Austrian. He can fuck his daughter <laughs> now. He is also the president. Um, then we have the bad bridge cliche. Mm. Where they they, mm. they they move the fucking carriage over the bridge and everything goes wrong, but then they're all right at the end in the last second. Ooh, yeah. Duh, in yeah. the middle of the movie, yeah. <laughs> the most obvious fucking trope since like the invention of movies, having yeah, a falling bridge. bridge. Yeah. Ooh, suspense, guys. What do you think? They're all the characters that are in this movie on this bridge. Do you think it's gonna collapse and kill any of them? No, because we have wolves after this. Yeah. And the wolves are fucking garbage as well. It's like a choose your own adventure at the end. Mm. Like a choose at your own or like a really bad D and D session. It, it, it's a cliche buffet. Yeah, exactly. Basically that's what it is. Yeah, down to down to, to other things we're gonna talk about later but all right let's go through the rest of the list uh then uh sexy sword scene oh yeah where he stabs the woman in the flashback again but then she's like licking her blood sexy sexy way and then <laughs> yeah. he, she gets crazy eyes yeah and then we yeah. have what are her powers oh yeah what are her powers like she she can talk to animals apparently she can imitate wolf sounds she can control them then she can yeah. control the horses kind of yeah. then she, she can, can t- summon wolves yeah that's cool 50 demons that then never really show up then yeah. um then we have oh yeah uh nick cage uh monks all dead oh yeah they finally make it to the abbey and every oh hooray everybody's dead except for one oh he's dead again so we have to do the summon ourselves yeah and oh it turns out oh she's not a witch she's a fucking demon all along yeah in the which is apparently worse than being a witch yeah and like he only it was even the same fucking book like he only had to switch 20 pages like a fucking manual on demons like oh (laughs) yeah (laughs) like he's like Um, oh wait this wasn't the right page let let me let how did the monks know how to write this? Also, how did he know t- only to turn those 20 pages to get to that page to know where... Like, the, the, that book had, like, at least 500 pages. Yeah. How did he know that it was there? Did he write that book? No, that book no. was 400 years old. The whole movie is like Deus Ex Machina at some <laughs> layer. At some layer. Yes, it was, because... He knew how to... Uh, what page... The thing was that he had to read to kill the demon and he found the page for some reason and that's it. Yeah. Like, the, the whole movie can be um, summarized by and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we no but th- it was we're, still we're, not as bad as Star Wars episode 2. Fair enough. Yes, that yeah. was well <sighs> yes. It had, it had, it has more consistency, I guess. Yes, um, and it has no such bad dialogue in it. It it doesn't have bad dialogue. It has bad jokes. Oh, such bad jokes! It has such bad jokes. It has it has good dialogue in it, but in the wrong places. 
that's it. But it doesn't have bad dialogue all in all. <sighs> I mean, I think maybe they left just a lot of it blank in the script and just like said to Nick Cage and all the other actors, yeah. just wing it, guys. Yeah. Here like, are the uh, ultimate plot lines because at the end what it is is an escort mission, bring item A to point B. Yeah. Uh, I this think is, this, they, this they is, stopped at is, the first draft of is, the script. It is the, is, it is the most boring fetch quest you can program into a computer game, the movie. You know? <laughs> Here's an item. Oh, yeah, the, the priest levels up at the end in the abbey. Yeah. Yeah, he's now a level two priest, and now he can perform a, 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 a demon uh, excommunications. I don't know. Yeah. What it's, it's anti demonifications. Uh, that's why I never would do a movie. <laughs> because it would look exactly like that. My you writing some- skills are exactly at that point. <laughs> Not with the jokes, by the way. They're yeah. a bit further, but the rest, like writing for movies, is fucking hard. Oh, I. I, I, I I totally agree. I totally agree. I totally agree. I I tried to write scripts and it never panned out. So at the end, yeah, they battle the demon and all of them die except for the young altar boy. And oh, yeah, the fucking witch is is a woman again. Which I mean, they're switching between old timey English and oh, let's just talk with our normal accents and and uh, make cool jokes. That they are um, switching between Shakespearean English and between let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, exactly. It's, like, <laughs> it's not good. Yeah, uh, is there a Brooklyn part of Austria? Do we know that? Is that is there is there Brooklyn of Austria? No, not really, right? No. We don't have that. No, the closest thing would be Wiener Neustadt, but <laughs> I've never been in Wiener Neustadt. I just drove yeah, it's by. a garbage city. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't even deserve the name Gar- if you, City. If you want to go out... Oh, this is tricky for you. Wait, let me help if you If you want to go out in Wiener Neustadt, you have to go to Vienna. <laughs> Slamming Wiener Neustadt. Always, yeah. always a good idea on this podcast. Um, <clears throat> so, they are, they are this, this, this abbey at the end. Yeah. They're all dead. And then we get a cool fight scene <laughs> that is interrupted by a boring scene followed by a cool fight scene <laughs> followed by the end which is not the end because then there's another 15 seconds because fuck you yeah <laughs> nicholas cage dies at the end oh really yeah yeah oh, oh and ron Palman spoiler dies too. yeah, ron, yeah. Pal- ron Palman also dies yeah but the witch and the boy who just came of age yes like his beard is so he's funny. at least 13 yes yeah, <laughs> yeah. he Played has by he a 28 year old he, he has a little beard he looks like a cheap rip off of shia labeouf and shia labeouf is in himself a cheap rip off of himself solid joke yeah yeah <laughs> Just like Shia LaBeouf's career. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My jokes are like Shia LaBeouf's career. That, that, <laughs> Solid <that's>, jokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least I'm funny. <laughs> hey, man, le- let's be honest. We all would take that, that Transformers money. I mean, you in a Transformers movie would actually make more sense because they help you get around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd like to have a Transformers wheelchair. That would yeah. be nice. Yes. Like, a they wheelchair can't. that <laughs> transforms into a better wheelchair. Yeah. A slightly so, faster one. So you mean a smart? Yeah. Boom. Slamming smart yeah, cars. Like, ba-boom. Yeah. Like uh, uh, a Stephen Hawking kind of wheelchair. Which is actually not true because he doesn't have an electric wheelchair. Honestly? He just has... Wait, is, is there like an engine in there? <laughs> no, no. Because he can't, he can't handle the engine. He's too disabled. Because what Stephen Hawking does, he can only move by now. Yeah. He is 75 years old, I think. Which is crazy. With which this. is crazy. Yeah. And I think I want to be 75. Yeah. I won't become 75. I no? think I won't live that long. 
but that doesn't matter now. But no, S- because Stephen Hawking can only move one cheek muscle. Oh wow! And with that cheek muscle, he um, controls his language computer. Nice. And he also has the rights on that voice <laughs> he has on that computer. Oh wow! That okay. that means if that voice is on The Simpsons. It's really his thing. Oh, he it's has like, to give approval yeah, and everything yeah. for them to he, use he it. He was like, he, if he is on The Simpsons, he is on The Simpsons. And he's really funny too. I mean, his computer is. It is comedic. Timing is <laughs> zero zero point zero zero one percent on point. <laughs> <laughs> Again, if you like, every year that you think you already should be dead is another year where you count your blessings more. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a life full of lift. I'm I'm honestly surprised that there's no Stephen Hawking sex scandal out there. Yeah, like that, that would be pretty. Yeah. Depressing. <laughs> <laughs> His wheelchair touched me. <laughs> he had a Rufy robot. Yeah. Rufus the robot. He, he made his he made his nurse put Rufy in the girls uh, put Rufy's in the girls glass. AKA his nurse is another <laughs> robot <laughs> that he controls. Yeah. <laughs> I have developed CG uh, artificial <laughs> intelligence to help me Rufy women it's just persuasion i persuade my nurse and he gets out of court because he's disabled <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and old yeah <laughs> and white <laughs> it's like we, the we can't thing. do that we can't do that that's actually the same treatment you get on any american airport yeah if you ask f- for help for the disabled <laughs> i did that three yeah. times and it's great yeah it's so great you don't have to move one centimeter oh nice and there is you're basically luggage (laughs) i'm basically luggage yes and there is like i i can i can walk but on the at the airport i always uh, i'm always in a wheelchair yeah and this is, is the one sentence a, is this is a hand move yeah yeah they move you oh okay they really treat you like you're in a um a stephen hawking your royal kind of state yes your royalty there. yeah sir stocking yeah yeah um along with many old indian women <laughs> but there is there is this thing lady you, you, pakshmi yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, I, I I get back to that later, to, to the Indian women, where it makes sense, where it makes okay. much more sense okay. later. Yes, please make sense in this <laughs> podcast, that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> the first time this podcast made sense. <laughs> oh no, you're breaking everything. <laughs> I worked so hard the last 60, <laughs> oh, no. episodes to establish oh, no. a brand, and then the other Austrian comes in here and stomps <laughs> all over my things. No, no. Especially you stomping over thing, your my things like that's that taking some effort right there. Now I'm really worse than Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 quantifiably not possible. <laughs> but if you're in a wheelchair, yes, and you're able to walk, there is one sentence you only hear on in American airports. Yeah, sir. Please be back at your wheelchair in 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best sentence I ever heard in my life. Please be back at your wheelchair <laughs> in 30 minutes. Oh my god. That's such an interesting sentence. I mean, the, there might be people who should use a wheelchair but technically can move without one. Like me. Yeah, I could technically, but you could it, make it, a run for it. it, it, it yeah, I could give you, <laughs> you a run a, for your money. You have a thirty-minute uh, window window where you could commit a terroristic act. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna happen, but like something with a lighter. No, but if you if you assign for disability help in American airports, 
you sit there with Don't some worry, listeners. This all ties into the movie. Like, <laughs> There's a like, wheelchair in this movie. The, the, there are there are some disabled people. Yeah. Not many. Yeah. I'm one of the few of them. <laughs> and there are many very old Indian women. <laughs> Never Indian men. Only women. <laughs> I don't know the why. The men are dead. The men are dead. No, they they're pushing their the men. wheelchair. That's the <laughs> thing. They're pushing the wheelchair. Oh, you didn't. You meant no old Indian men in wheelchairs, only no. pushing wheelchairs. Yes. And in American airports, there are also like Indian women and fat American male people. Yeah. Like fat American men <laughs> who scream out in agony because they have mistaken their tongue for a piece of ham they bit off the tip they bit off more than they could chew yeah yeah literally <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then I, and then i roll by them <coughs> and say fuck you my disability is real fat so i totally agree with you because yeah you because you don't know better yeah I, you I have really to you have to agree with me because you didn't make this experience my, 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 my six years at hack in a in an integrated uh hack didn't didn't uh prepare me for this at all yeah i always push the wheelchair <laughs> yeah you can push me in 20 years nice do that please yeah Ooh, they actually okay. Funny thing, we 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 went uh, uh, one of those rare schools in Austria where there was an uh, a, a a business high school and a technical high school in the same building, and the technical high school actually pimped one of the uh, guys scooters mm -hmm. uh, to go over the twenty kilometer, like he removed the limiter, and it could go forty five kilometers inside a house. Which was pretty fun. That was <laughs> like it was. It was. It was basically uh, Timmy from from the from from the uh, uh, um, from um, South Park. Yeah. And uh, but he his his in a movie with Win Diesel, and they they pimped his ride basically. I also know like a he, guy. We nearly like drifted around at, the, uh, around the, corners. The, these electric wheelchairs are disturbingly fast. Oh yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's so it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the 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 same. It's the same technology that they use in 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 electric bikes. And electric bikes are also uh, uh, they have uh, uh, digital uh, limiters built in, so yeah. you can remove them via yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the right software. Uh, yeah. Be because I, I know a guy who is um, can bound I frisk your, can I, can I, to an, to an yeah. electric wheelchair. And he said, like, his re wheelchair is going like, really fast. <laughs> like, oh, f like, what the fuck fast? <laughs> because he wants it that way. Yeah. And I want to hurt somebody yeah, if, I, if yeah. I run into them. And, and he said he had many situations where people held him back at the like they, they pulled him back because they thought he lost control over his <laughs> wheelchair that, that's so funny he's that's out so of control yeah guy. that's so fucking funny <laughs> he has like basically a tuned up that that should exist like yep. a, a a show uh like like um What's the fucking show where they tune up the cars? Pimp My Ride. Pimp My Ride. Yeah, Pimp My Ride for... Uh, Pimp for My Disability Assistance yeah, Device. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Pimp My Breathing Machine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can smoke now. <laughs> <laughs> with, with, with attached a vaporizer to yeah. it. <laughs> it's totally dank, dude. <laughs> Iron Lung has a completely different yeah, meaning. Yeah, also... 24 ri 24 inch rims now on your machine <laughs> dog yeah <Yay! laughs> and the display yeah <laughs> <laughs> we also put an xbox in yeah, yeah! <laughs> oh my god oh that would be such a good show who who would who would host such a show should you get a disabled guy as well to host it um just to make it, you know, fully I would, inclusive. Uh, who, who is the guy who always says, yeah, yeah, and doesn't <laughs> do 
do anything else, like little John. Yes. He should do that because he's definitely <laughs> mentally disabled. And he's definitely available. I yeah. think he has <laughs> nothing on his plate yeah. right now. <laughs> That's that that must be a pretty shitty life. I if think you know. I think you 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 might uh, say he watches out for his next project. <sighs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No, 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 no. Nah. 90s Little John reference. All right, okay. <laughs> Cinematography. I don't have these categories, so you have to do. Oh yeah. All right. So, so, so the first thing I wrote down is bad CGI. There's some really crappy CGI in this movie. Yeah, uh, some I didn't notice, but you did. Yeah, like there's 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 non-existing there's wall where it shouldn't be. The fighting scene at the beginning when they get the troops riled up is only two people deep, and then it's CGI afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> two rows all, of actors. Yeah, they always and shoot the from an angle, so you don't totally see the people after the second row. Yeah, that one was super funny to me. Yeah. Oh, his whole horse riding yeah where 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 he and ron palman have a very unnecessary talk in the woods yeah and and it's just green screen and they simulate are they on artificial horses yes is, or is course. there just a, an intern and sitting the beneath them having to simulate a horse the lightning is bad too but we will get to that later so yeah there, there were actually some impressive beauty shots of austria that that was the yeah, main yeah. thing that that caught yeah. my eye in a positive light. Yeah, but but in the wrong places. Yeah, <laughs> it was always an establishing shot in the middle of a scene. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, like uh, there was one scene where they were riding through the mountains, and you saw a meh establishing shot. Yeah. And then the actually funny thing was that then Ron Perlman and um. The other guy, uh, Nicholas Cage. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to say Jack Nicholson. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. They're but two different o- acting styles. They're two, two Oscar, uh, Oscar uh, winning white guys. Yeah. But Jack Nicholson still has all his money. So yeah, that's true. He doesn't have to do <laughs> these movies. And 2008 didn't hit him as hard. He <laughs> yeah. invested a lot in gold. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, there was this establishing shot that was not really beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like uh, an iPhone camera could have done that. And yeah. it was shortly before Ron Perlman and Nicolas Cage went into battle. But they didn't know that they would go into battle yeah no no yeah why <sighs> and and then they had this kind of lord of the rings talk uh-huh with the uh, and ron perlman said to nicholas cage when you get home what are you gonna do like i'm gonna sit there like ron perlman said uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna go to my hometown and just gonna sit there and enjoy life and drink like ale yeah. yeah and then nicholas cage said yeah i don't long for home. I don't have such a place like home. <laughs> he is a he he establishes himself now. Yes. In the last part of the movie, he establishing he's establishing His himself and, as an outsider, <laughs> which he didn't do before. But there would have been plenty of time. And then he says, "Yeah, oh, I'm again, not, I'm not lazy, la- lazy, lazy, lazy script writing." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was. Then the, the, then we had the what the fuck monks at yeah. the end yeah, that but all but of the sudden are like basically Japanese monster assassins. Yeah, like they because they all have the plague, throw them a bone here. I mean, yeah, but they are also su- also all of a sudden possessed by demons apparently and can be killed only zombie style by cutting off their heads. But they can use weapons. Yeah, and they crawl up walls all of a sudden yeah. and have super strength when it's convenient. Yeah, like. What the fuck is... I mean, the way that we are describing this movie here yes. is actually more stupid than the movie actually is. <laughs> but the uh, movie is still pretty give, stupid. Give the movie some slack. Yeah. It's less stupid than this podcast, which we just have thrown together. This was a $40 million movie. Yeah. And this is a... what? How many beers did I have? Yeah, this is at least a four euro <laughs> podcast. <laughs> podcast. <laughs> 40 million yeah. movie and it looked like a season of the witch looks like the name of the rose 
part two. Part two. In the Dracula. Sense, yeah. And what else? Something stupid. And the Exorcist. Yeah. Thrown in one pot. Steer it a little bit. Add 40 million euros to it. Yeah. And some or bullshit. Dollars. And some bullshit. Yeah. And that's it. That's what you get. And still... That, that that dialogue, what you're gonna do when you're home, when all this is over, that, that still bugs me out because they're still riding into battle without knowing that there is gonna be a battle. Also, they say their own names so seldomly because they can't pronounce their German yeah, names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I let's let, let wait. Let's go to sounds. Yeah, you wanna because, do that? yeah, yeah. Because legit, Nicolas Cage says says his own name only twice in this movie, and I still have no fucking clue what his name is. Ron Perlman says the name of his city or, or the the town that he's from. Yeah, and we have no fucking clue where it is. Yeah. Like we as Austrian have no clue what it is. It, yeah, it, it was crazy. They they butchered the name Innsbruck so much that I had to listen twice to it to notice that it was actually called Innsbruck. Yeah. <laughs> And then they switch from, from, again, from this kind of British talk to, oh, we are yeah, just... Let's get the hell out yeah, of here. Yeah, it's just like, hey, I'm uh, a, I'm a he hero from the Easter Coast. Uh, uh, yeah. he, he once says, he even once says shit. Yeah. Just well, that he doesn't say fuck. You know, it's an it's, R-rated movie. No, I have actually no clue what it is yeah. rated because this... I don't know. I, I, it doesn't deserve a, a they, thorough look up in my. They opinion. should have said "son of a bitch." That's always good. Yeah. <laughs> then they um then ha they had that Lord of the Rings rip off music, which looked and also Lord of the Rings establishing shots, which yeah. still were happening in the middle of the scene. <laughs> Something they could have done. That really in the bugs you, right? Yeah, that really <laughs> bugs me. Because those has had to be in, like it was 2010. There, there might have been drones, but I think that was helicopter. So that that was an expensive establishing yeah, shot that they just wasted. Can, can put some effort into it in the cutting room. The shitty shot in the beginning. Yeah. And then the good shot, like the relatively good When we are already, when we already lost interest yeah, in this yeah, scene. They, yeah. They're like, La, but look yeah. here. Look at yeah. that. Look where they are riding along. It's, yeah. It's very steep. Yeah, and, the and nothing happens to them there. Yeah. Oh, and then the the have a little faith quote. Oh, fuck you, fuck you, uh, writers of this movie. This was the laziest ha ha moment I've seen in a movie in a while. <laughs> like this is this is the 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 uh, equivalent to Bazinga, basically. Yeah, yeah, but 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 still. There is some logic in it because he says he doesn't serve the church no more. That <laughs> that doesn't mean that he doesn't have any faith. No yeah, more. but he says have like a like a twinkle twinkle have a yeah, little yeah, faith yeah. thing. Yeah, it's uh, faith very thing. yeah yeah. Also, say a little have a little faith to Ron Perlman would also be fucking funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just I. Like if Nick I, Cage decided that he would say it that way yeah. and insist that he says faith, but he yeah. says face. Yeah. <laughs> Have a little face. <laughs> uh, oh. uh, uh, Nick, could you could you do that scene again? <laughs> it's 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 have a little faith. Yeah, I'm saying that. No, you're saying have a little face. No, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm saying have a little face. No, you're saying it again. <laughs> through, the whole, through the whole dialogue of the movie, I waited till somebody says ding dong motherfucker or something <laughs> yeah. like that. There, there, there was a, 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 a curious lack of one liners, definitely. We, we're going to move on to something that's going to be really difficult now for us. And that's best moments. Like what what part of the movie encapsulated for you most the movie? Because there's not a best moment. Well, when it was over, haha. -ha, but best moments. There are a few best moments in this movie for me, actually. Yeah. When, when Claire Foy, the one who plays the witch yeah. slash demon, mm -hmm. was alone in one shot. Okay. Uh, she did a good performance. <laughs> when there was nobody else to interrupt yeah, yeah, her yeah. acting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she 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 can act. Yeah, she can act, but goddamn this 
the, the, but, she but, it even but, dragged but, but her so down. But so does Nicolas Cage and Ron Perlman. Yeah. But they were just in the wrong genre. Oh, well, not. I mean, I can buy Ron Perlman as a British uh, 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 Knights Templar, I guess. I can buy him oh, as no, that. No, I need him with the cigar. I'm sorry <laughs> that I'm clinging on the cigar, but he is a cigar smoker. Yes, okay. And he needs that. He has it in Hellboy, he has it in Sons of Anarchy. Okay, alright. Uh, he really, he doesn't fit so the into first Knight's thing, armor. Yeah, alright. He doesn't fit yeah. there. For the British Army, maybe? Uh, like in India, during an expedition or something? Yeah, with I don't a cigar? know. He, 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 would, he would be fitting as a king. Yes. 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 Yeah, that would be really cool. King Perlman. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually yeah. a sex move. Who, do, who doesn't? Yeah. King Perlman. Look at my King Perlman. Yeah. <laughs> Want to see my Perlman? Who got the good pee? I got the good I pee. I mean, they have similar uh, facial textures. <laughs> <laughs> no, he would be really good as a king who doesn't give a shit and just leads his armies into battle. Yeah. And he doesn't care who's coming back or how many people ah, die. Yeah, yeah, he's that kind of. But 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 he isn't in that movie. He doesn't fit as the righteous guy. Because, yeah, and also because he is too clean. As yeah, you, as you said, they're all their teeth. Yeah, are no, they. Everything else is, is very fucking in shit. Dirt. Yeah, <laughs> everything else in this movie, every landscape is a bunch of shit. You could but they are groomed and have white teeth. I, I think you could describe it as muddy. I think that's my best scene, actually. It's is the a pool of dead people at the, I don't know, 40-minute mark of the movie or something like yeah. that. And, oh, man, this, this, this pool definitely resembles for me the, the, the whole movie because it's just a hodgepodge that is not better than the sum of its parts it's way worse than the sum of its parts it's not yeah. even as good as parts of its parts <laughs> that's how bad it is you know that it's 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 partially enjoy enjoyable because it there are some there are some scenes where it's like wow they really went for this they really really went for this but I think the, 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 the pool was... Oh, and it's also the first fuck you scene where, where the guy stabs the other guy and we are like, oh, there's no... We're not going to see the monster until the yeah. end. This yeah. is going to be mindfuck games until the end. And yeah. one and is going to die off after the other. This there, is not going to be something things, interesting. There are some things that they established way too late. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like Ron Perlman's yeah, okay. character. Yeah. Should have okay. had Sorry way more you backstory. can't do this anymore now. Yeah. It's way too late. <laughs> and the movie now oh man all right and also uh, also the names it's really like the names of the characters i didn't know them yeah and then they mentioned it a few times around the campfire yeah and i couldn't remember them because no. they are not rememberable and they butcher them again yeah yeah really bad yeah. i was so happy that the witch at the end was called anna because i was like oh fuck and finally a fucking name i can spell yeah <laughs> uh, and ron perlman's character was named felsen or something like that uh, he was from felsen. felsen village yeah or something ah oh, so stupid and i still don't know the name of nicholas cage's character no i don't care i don't i don't really care yeah. uh yeah um i think we can go on to the secret category and slowly close this up what do you think yeah okay <laughs> this is this, let is, let is, this yeah, has let gone let on let for long enough yeah, let's, let's end it. this <laughs> there's a gun you know so <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah there is a gun <laughs> you didn't notice no all right secret category potential one-liner because okay. yeah they, they they were missing a one-liner there, there would have been uh, like something pun based 90s like make it a really trashy 90s movie then would it would have been really enjoyable potential one-liner yeah but they took themselves way too seriously when he stabs stabs the wolves he's like um look what i'm doing with your bitches miss witches yeah, or yeah. something like yeah. that Although fighting these wolves is really rough yeah <laughs> A rough. lot of a lot of bark and no bite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when the witch was uh, stabbing the guy with the cross again, she could yeah, have said, yeah. "Don't be cross with me." 
Yeah. Or don't <laughs> yeah. don't you try yeah. to cross yeah, me. Yeah, you're better at puns than I am. Yeah. <laughs> That, that's I, your advantage. I, 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 I do have a, 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 a master's degree in punnery, in advanced punnery. Yeah. Advanced applied punnery. Yeah. And also your English is better. Oh, thank you. Uh, I, I try my best, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that was also pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, any, any, anything coming to oh, your mind? I, I would have, I would have I, loved I can, I if can. Ron Perlman would have said in some point at the beginning of the battles. Yeah. But he said this life is hell boy yeah or, or he slices up a demon and he's like go back to hell boy <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> he should have ron perlman should have said more yeah <laughs> period yes in this yes yes definitely i mean th- let, let's be honest nobody had any di- significant dialogue at all the no. comic relief character had what seven lines of dialogue and there was this one awkward cutout on the on the comic relief guy yes where you really think at the beginning oh this could be comic relief but he isn't he's just there he's just there and then he gets eaten know, by wolves uh, and not even not even big lebowski there like yeah. uh donny because donny is also there but in a good way he doesn't hardly yeah. talk <laughs> he's just like the child of those two guys yes but still nobody cares about the comic relief in this movie oh so unnecessary most of them are very unnecessary all of it is very unnecessary yes like this podcast let's go to final conclusion what what do you think about this movie w- would you recommend it is it for you bad enough that you would go if somebody invited you to a bad movie night and you were like in charge of putting on the movie you would choose this because certainly no, it's not a good movie i wouldn't charge this for a bad movie night no because it made an effort there was money behind it and all yeah and yeah clearly it's had too I, many script writers if i, if I one w- script writer on too that, many drugs if i would have watched that totally drunk i would still watch it okay yeah the, i don't it's it's a guilty pleasure movie it it's it's not bad enough for a viewer to pay attention to how bad it is yes i mean if you have a the, the bad that the fact that this movie is so bad is pretty well hidden <laughs> they they had a they had a supreme team of editors to mm. to and 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 uh, cinematographers to to yeah. really hide the fact that it's shitty because some of the it looks grim in some parts you know yeah and then th- then another part is the lightning which is or very, lighting you mean yeah yeah the lighting which was not very good in many parts of the movie oh but yeah i think i uh, mean that the witch had always a blue hue on her yeah always, for some reason always, no matter where she was yeah it's full of uh, th- this movie there were many filmmakers involved which are trained in Making working movies. with the pile of shit they already have produced oh yeah yeah that's and they have a that garbage that script yeah yeah, that, that, yeah. That, yeah yeah there's professionalism yeah yeah you can see that somebody was actually trained yeah, in yeah. the arts of making a movie yeah, but yeah. only parts of it and it doesn't yeah. fit together and at in all. the end is everybody everybody's like fuck it didn't work we're <laughs> sorry we're sorry yeah this mu- this movie in itself is a huge mea culpa apology yeah mea culpa yeah. the whole movie Not is a like mea culpa like batman and robin all right david uh where can people find you plugs i have a facebook page right on called um stocky.comedy right on i link think in you the will description link below that yes in the description yes i will yeah i have two or three good or any m- upcoming in shows in malaysia or india <laughs> 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 because according to youtube it, it, analytics there is, are some people is that from your target audience some of them like 12 percent are from there for some reason <laughs> yeah <laughs> i think it's because of melinda okay uh, i'm not sure i'm not sure <laughs> or because of porn it's one of the two That's things a fucking good joke. <laughs> i have uh three videos on youtube right you on. just type in david stockenreitner a name that's not marketable very in the that's why international that, market that's why i ditched my last name yeah but if they can pronounce arnold schwarzenegger at some point yeah but you have for, neither of us are as good as at lifting weights than he is like none of us have such a good skill that he has or refined no, of course say, not but refined. i'm disabled that has to mean something <laughs> 
I mean, <laughs> put I, some effort I in could, it. He I does. Could, I could get a, I, I could, I could get a role in some Hollywood movie for something. Yeah, uh, for some extra. Like I'm not a midget. Yeah, that's the pro- That's the problem. I'm not a midget. Then you would always get work. Or a dwarf. You know, say, you you say dwarf now again. Or or little people. Okay, little people. Little people. I'm not a little person. How about just because little person? Um, little people are uh more marketable. How about vertic uh vertically challenged people? Vertically challenged. Yeah, I, I, I horizontal never, if they lay down. I have, I have never seen somebody like that uh, <laughs> in a Hollywood movie. And if then they're just good. Leonardo DiCaprio was one in What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Yeah, he almost got his first Oscar with that. Yeah, well, it took it. him a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but still. All right, man. Um, anything else you have to plug? When is your podcast going on air? Uh, like in three weeks, I think. Okay, then no. Okay, cool. No. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right, thank you for being here. I hope you had fun. Thank you for having me. I, yes. I had fun. A lot All right, of fun. great. Uh, see you the next time, guys. Bye.